Awesome. So thank you so much, Stephanie, for joining us today. Um, I was hoping you could just introduce yourself, uh, tell us all your job title and what agency you're affiliated with, if you've had any experience um, working alongside the CESU or LTER networks, and how long you've been working for a federal agency. Hi. So I'm Dr. Stephanie Sharuga. Um, I am an interdisciplinary scientist for the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management, which is um, a very small agency under the Department of Interior. Um, so we have sister agencies of you know, USGS and US Fish and Wildlife Service. Um, and uh, I personally have not yet had too much experience with uh, CESU or LTER, but uh, we're kind of a newer role there. And so I'll be hopefully getting to do more uh, in the future. Um, I have been with BOEM for four and a half years now. Um, and then I also worked for actually two other agencies briefly before mm -hmm. that. So almost 10 years in total, actually. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, working for federal agencies. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Um, so for today, I asked you to think about the theme um, career preparation. And so could you just tell us a little bit about how you got your job and what experiences led to this position? So I'm going to go with start with three words, okay. hard work, perseverance and patience. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I did not have a super straightforward path to get to my job. Um, I started out uh, kind of with my schooling. I, I did a mm -hmm. bachelor of science. So I kind of started out the sciencey route. And then I decided I wanted more experience with policy and environmental management. So I actually kind mm -hmm. of switched gears for my master's and did um, a master's that focused on sort of that environmental management, mm -hmm. assessment, policy side. Um, and then uh, after that, I went on to do a PhD uh, mm -hmm. where I kind of melded the two together. So it was post deep water horizon stuff. I was oh, cool. doing some deep sea surveys um, and creating different methods for doing environmental assessments. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was kind of like my, my initial schooling background. And so as part of that, you know, I did a lot of like miscellaneous stuff over the years. Yeah. Um, so during my undergraduate degree, I did some research projects, which were really valuable in getting me like experience and working with submersibles and, you know, interested in the deep sea realm. Um, mm -hmm. When I finished my master's, I had kind of a weird like half year between when PhD programs would start. So I actually uh, did an internship with the Smithsonian Environmental Research Center. Um, out cool. in Maryland. And um, so I got to work with some wetland labs there and to get about half a year experience, you know, trying out something that wasn't deep sea related. So a little bit different uh, than, you know, what I'd been previously doing and mm -hmm. um, went into my PhD, you know, spent a few years doing that. Uh, I ended up getting a fellowship that uh, pretty much set me up for my current career, which oh, was awesome. the um, Gulf Research Program Science Policy Fellowship. Uh, oh, cool. through the National Academies of uh, Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine. And it was all about getting scientists who'd been doing research experience in the policy and uh, mm -hmm. like agency realm. And so mm -hmm. I got to be partnered with U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service um, for a year to kind of work with them and, you know, learn more about that science policy interface. And so that kind of mm -hmm. got me on the trajectory I, I do now. Um, mm -hmm. So the, my current agency, the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management, they were always one that I had in mind for, you know, a long-term career because I love the deep sea. I love, you know, like seafloor type stuff. So I'm a benthic ecologist and water quality person by background. And everything that we do at our agency is all about protecting the outer continental shelf and doing, you know, sustainable development of those resources. And mm -hmm. um, so just to ask you this final question that uh, we're asking all of our panelists. So in terms of career preparation, what is one piece of advice that you would have given yourself from the beginning of your career journey? So it kind of goes back to my my weird twisty turny path where I was doing a mm -hmm. lot of different things. And it's um, go into um, your you know career path and everything with a plan but be prepared to be flexible, adaptable, mm -hmm. and open to changing that plan. Mm -hmm. When I first started out looking at 
you know, what I envisioned my career, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to be an academic research scientist. I'm going to be at a university. I'm going to, you know, do that kind of traditional career path. And it was, it was not easy to try to end up on that career path. Yeah. And so I ended up kind of having to adapt along the way and take, mm -hmm. you know, advantage of opportunities that came up as they did, even if they were maybe a little bit different than, you know, what I was used to, or, or maybe originally was, was thinking of. And um, so thank you so much, Stephanie, for talking with us today. And we look forward to seeing you at the career panel. Thank you so much for having me.